Welcome to Iron to Diamond, where I pick the top voter champions and build suggestions from your comments below and play them in the next video. Today's pick is Rift Maker Shen with Titanic Hydra, as voted by you guys. Right, so jump into the game, OP.GG, and the runes are on screen right now. Today we're playing some Rift Maker Shen with Titanic Hydra, Rift Maker, Spirit Visage. The idea is to get a lot of healing from this build and also be able to do a lot of damage. Um, just I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but I just like to. Put this here so that I could pass it through uh, Garen later on in lane. At least the first one. So I walk up and then block his Q and then use my um, three hits. Also, this Garen's running a really cheesy sums. So Ignite and Teleport is going to be really strong in lane. But outside of lane, he's going to be really weak. He won't have that flash, which is going to be very crucial for the rest of the game after lane phase. The other thing is... As Shen, we're going to be a support champion. We'll be split pushing a little bit, so pushing the side lanes. Although, I think because we don't have an ult and Garen has an ult, we do lose later on. So, I don't know. In my opinion, Shen sucks, but it's really good in high elo because we can play off of our team. But in low elo, we can't play off of our team, so that's why I think Shen sucks for carrying low elo. But, I mean, it's still possible, so we'll see. We're, we have a Yasuo that we can ult to, but I don't trust a bronze. Hey, what happened to my sword? Why is it... Over here now. I never pressed Q. The second time, anyway. Okay, I have my grasp up, so... Okay. So I just shield and then use my Q. Hit him. Get my grasp proc. And then rinse and repeat. I get level 2 off of this minion, so maybe I can wait a bit. No, he doesn't walk up. He might walk up for... Ah, okay. I just prioritize getting CS here. It's always the surefire way. Oh, I see someone over there. So that's a Vi in the top side. I have to be cautious right now. There is Vi top side, and I'm versing cheese sums. There she is. It must be done. I want this to push back into me right now because uh, I'm getting jungle pressured. So it's good that he's pushing it back into me. I just want to stay back at the moment. So I go. Just let this push back, but make sure we don't miss too much CS. Also, we can use our W to block his Q. Okay, so now Vi's over there, we see her. She already cleared top side, so she should be heading back to bot side or resetting. So we just shield and then grab that uh, grass proc. As many as we can. Okay, Vi is now down there. Hey, these short trades are really good. Okay, just back away. Save our third auto for if he retaliates. We will still have a little something. And also he used his ignite. Like a panic ignite. So that's very interesting. Could probably go for an E here. Oh! Oh no way. No way that didn't kill him. I would have had a, what, triumph? No, I actually don't have triumph, huh. Well, I didn't kill him with that auto, like, I didn't do any damage. I thought I had way more damage than that, but uh, that's unfortunate. We definitely had that, but just didn't work out, I guess. Oh damn, now he's six, so this is gonna be rough. Okay, it's not off to a good start here.
Mm, I'm not six yet. That's really bad. And he's teleporting. Okay. I just W in case he uses his Q off of that. So that I just instantly block it. Kind of wish I got Shield Bash actually. It would have been really good. Like, Demolish is great too, but... Okay, I just used my Q to block that. Maybe I should have used a W with that. What? Oh, this Garen's trolling. Okay, if he walks up, I'll try to get another grass proc. Nice. Okay, not so nice. That He just out-traded me even though I blocked his thing. He needed to wait for my... Oh, whatever. This is really bad. I need to just push out and reset. Because uh, Shen doesn't really have much sustain. Until I get a Rift Maker. <laughs> That's not good. I try to help him there. Hey, this is getting greedy. I'll just back off here. Hey, right now we pick up Tiamat, and then we just get a lot of health because Garen's ult is true damage. That really sucks that I misplayed the very early game, where uh, that would have been my kill, but I just messed up somehow. Maybe I didn't pass the... I think I might have used my abilities too quickly. I EQ'd, but maybe the Q didn't pass through him. I'm not sure. I think it was the weak Q. That's why didn't have enough damage with the ignite and a flash auto it still wasn't enough damage no let's not try to preserve our health Okay, my ult comes up in 90. I'm gonna just push and then look for ults. And just try to get as much CS as we can. But then right now we don't have ult, so can't really look for anything. Just, just pray my team doesn't die to this Garen for free. And that's it. Then we'll just get a lot of tower platings with Demolish. I don't know why Garen's down there, actually. Other than Dragon, but then, unless he has a teleport back up here, could work out. Okay. Despite pinging them back, they keep going, so uh, maybe it's gonna not work out yet. Okay. Uh, 30 seconds. Before my ult comes up. Just kill the backline. It's always the most guaranteed way of CSing is to hit the backline. Hmm, they're still going to keep going. Okay, nice. We got a lot of gold off of this. And Garen couldn't TP back up here. So I guess it's a bad roam on his part, even though they got Dragon. But Garen just missed out on so much. 
that when I come back with the Titanic Hydra, he might just lose 1v1. But then I don't have a combat ult, that's the problem. Okay, I do have my Titanic now. But if I farm 50 gold, I get boots as well. So, let's go and grab boots with this purchase. I don't think he'll freeze this. If he's smart, he'll try to freeze it. Okay, that's annoying. He's gonna try to keep me in lane. I can look for an ult. Let's see if he goes up. Then I can just ult Kane and come back to lane. He could he could go in and then I'll just ult him. Nice, there we go. Wait, why did he ping me back? I'm the one that set up this uh, kill. But I don't like how uh, Shen is very reliant on team. Like, he's very strong early, but I messed up the early game, so... Yeah, first tower? Nice. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay, whatever. Let's see if we can get a roam off mid. Especially this Echo's Oom as well. Actually, he's dead. This Echo just straight up entered. Whoa, he's running really fast. I just come up and ignite him or something. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, that's fine. Ooh, we got that. I don't need to use Ignite. He's just dead. He doesn't have Flash or anything. Have a while before... Oh, he might use his W. No? Okay, yeah, there's someone behind. No, no, no. I'm gonna reset here. I have like 2k gold, so that's a lot. And because this build gets Spirit Visage right away after that, I'm gonna opt for Tabbies. Okay, sweet. So let's go up there, we'll push out top lane, and then look for an ult in 45 seconds. Mm, that's, that's fine. Okay. I can't really help them, that's why I'm pinging them back, but if they're so sure, they can go for it. I won't be able to get there. So you just block his Q. This passes through him. This is flash to get that slow, I guess. Like redirect the um, blade. And then we get a kill. Usually people don't expect the Q flash. But I did commit a lot of resources into just killing a Garen that's uh, it has questionable farm, questionable macro and rotations. I just oh mm, yeah, it should be fine. I'm pretty sure Twitch is low. Oh, Twitch is still mid. Okay, I thought he might be rotating up here. So only Vi can come here, and then potentially Garen will walk through base. So once I see them, I can just walk away. Okay, yep. Let's walk away. We can head towards mid. And then now we can start looking for alt plays again. Ooh, that's juicy. Potentially grab this if Vi is going down to Dragon. She's coming up, I should be able to just take it out now. Okay. Does Shen get Rift? Uh, it's 
probably going to take too long. I'm just going to look for ult plays. I feel like Shen does no damage. I mean, actually, he does a lot of damage. What am I talking about? Is this worth ulting? Nah, he's fine. He doesn't need me. Let's make sure we don't waste our ult and put us in a really bad position that we can't farm. That's like the worst. Okay, that's, that's ultable. Ooh, we got the double KS. Damn, we hit hard though with this Titanic. And also that shield was massive. That was like an 800 health shield because I have a leeching leer. Look at that. Uh, what is the scaling? 135% to 200 based on missing health. Oh, wow. But it's like 216% AP scaling. That is, that's like one of the highest scalings possible in the game. That's insane. So I can see why this build is really good because it does damage. It also heals you. It gives you tankiness and it makes your shields insanely big. The only thing it's missing is CDR. So if I was feeling ballsy, I could go for Ionian Lucidity Boots and that build to spam my ult. Let's head towards mid because it looks like something might happen. And at the same time, we can also go bot and farm. So it just depends on what's going to happen. Walk over. Okay, yeah. Ooh, Hasaki. With a quadra kill, I can set up for the Penta for him. Okay, maybe not. The Echo's just gonna run. OP. I mean... <laughs> yeah, 2k shields indeed. <laughs> Thanks, Yasuo. Okay, well... I mean, this is as uh, great as Shen gameplay gets. I got the Q flash into uh, two autos, right? That's that's the epitome of Shen gameplay. Or if you want to try to uh, do something under tower, which I don't recommend against Garen because he silences you, you could pass your blade through him. Then you auto once, E back away from the tower, then auto again. That's it. That's the epitome. I, I can't believe this Yasuo did well. That's crazy. Like... This is a silver Yasuo that did well. This just made history. I've never seen one on my team that did well. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Like, what am I to do playing a support champion? This is um, the epitome of Shen gameplay, unfortunately. So yeah, GG well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to vote down below which champion you want to see in the next one. I'll be sure to do it. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.